guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is a very busy day. I am packing and making final arrangements for some traveling I'm going to be doing in the very immediate future. And I also have my dress fitting for that symphony concert that I've been mentioning to you guys in several videos. We are down to less than a week than that concert, but I wanted to, before I threw all of this stuff, into one bag. I wanted to share with you guys a little pack with me video. I am actually pretty impressed with the amount of things I am taking, meaning like the small amount of things that I am taking. I normally pack a lot of stuff in a suitcase, but as I'm going to be gone for just under 48 hours, I am trying and the goal is to have everything packed in this bag. I got this bag if you followed my uh, bachelorette party in Louisville. This is one of the gifts that we got from the maid of honor of that wedding. Not my wedding. I was in the bridal party. But anyway, I want to get everything I'm packing for 48 hours out of town in this bag. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first thing I will always lay out and prepare is what I am traveling in. I am a big fan of traveling in comfort, which is why I'm going to be taking just a pair of black leggings. I'll lay them here. Oh, and side note, none of this is sponsored. I will link a few of the products I take with me, but they ain't cute. A lot of them have been very much used, like they're on their last leg, almost time to buy a new one, but I figure I wanted to share with you guys, and if you're interested, I'll have a few of the links down below. But with those leggings, I'm gonna be wearing my coffee till cocktail shirt. It's just really comfortable, and it's loose. I can like relax in it, and just kind of be comfortable while traveling. Uh, along with the leggings and tops, just a pair of knockoff Toms. I think these are from Target. They're like $20, and I go through one or two pairs of these a year. After traveling the first day, I'm just gonna be sporting some, these are Old Navy Rockstar Mid-Rise jeans. I have never bought jeans from Old Navy. I mean, maybe I did in grade school, and I don't remember, but this is like the first pair of jeans I bought. They're really comfortable, and I like them. The top I have to go with the jeans is also from Old Navy. It's a white t-shirt that has these gold leaf patterns all over it. Again, it's just to dress for comfort, and I can use the same toms that I wore in the previous day, because I'm all about packing and having things that work together so I don't have to pack as much. I'm also folding these as we go. Uh, things that I'm packing that I will not be sharing will be like underwear, pack, bras, pack, I don't need to pack socks, and then the formal event of this trip, I'm going to be wearing, it's going to be cleaned and pressed, but I just wanted to toss it in the bag. This is from New York and Company, it's the Ava Mendez line. It's just, I don't know if you can see the color, it's a mint coral kind of green dress. It goes down to the knee, it's a cocktail dress. It's got a high neckline, and then it does again go down to the knee. And the shoes I'm gonna wear with that dress are these nude heels. You probably saw these in my minimalist work wardrobe. If you missed that, I will link it above in the cards. But these colors go really nicely together. They're just nice and simple, and I don't have to, you know, overthink what I'm gonna wear. Again, it's going to be pressed, so I'm not too worried. I just wanna get it in the bag. You are also seeing just my hair blown dry, like not styled or anything. So I am taking it has no name or no title. It's like the GVP generic hair straightener. It's just nothing special. It's not a name brand anything. I just like it because it goes up to 420 degrees. I don't ever use that heat, but it's just nice. It works. It gets as hot as I need it and it will straighten and style my hair very nicely. Why did I take this cord off? I have been loving this all summer. It's called All Bundled Up. Uh, it's a body butter. I've been looking for a good body butter for a very, very long time. And ironically, the kind I like the most, I didn't find in a department store or like Bed Bath & Beyond or Bath & Body Works or Target. I actually found this on Avon's website. This is like the thickest body butter, if you can see it. Oh, and it smells so good. And I just love it, it's, it's really thick. I can just travel with it, take it with me. It smells amazing and it just, it does its job. It keeps you very moisturized. I like, this is supposed to be legs. Keeps you very moisturized, especially right after you shower in the summer months. I get really dry legs in the summer because I have to, you know, wash 
my body a little bit more because I'm laying out in the sun and taking off sunscreen and shaving just a little bit more often. Oh, I cannot recommend this enough. I will have this linked down below with the woman I bought this from, toiletries and makeup. This bag carries all my makeup brushes. Um, where did I get this bag? I got this when I bought the Echo Tools, the Alicia Silverstone line from Target. Again, not sponsored. Um, I don't carry all of her brushes. I do carry like her powder brush, but my like foundation cover-up brush is Bare Minerals, and I like how it just has this like curved edge on the brush. And then just some generic eyeshadow brushes, and I pick up dollar eyeliner pencils because they work the best. This one actually came from Victoria's Secret, like in the gift line. <laughs> A little bit ghetto, seeing how you can definitely tell it's not sponsored. All right, if you wanna know what kind of foundation I'm gonna be using in photo shoots and performances, CoverGirl Outlast Stay Luminous Foundation. I'll be very honest, this was on sale and in my color, so I wanted to try it, and I've been pretty impressed with this stuff. Uh, the BB cream that I'm taking and currently wearing now is called the Physician's Formula. It's got SPF in it, and it's like an all-in-one beauty cream. Uh, my mom turned me on to this a few years ago, and I've just enjoyed it. Let's see here. The powder. I actually use foundation, and I use powder foundation on top of it, just because I think it provides double coverage, is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Press Powder in Natural 11. I just literally walked in and said, match my color. And then the bronzer I have been loving this summer is also another Avon product. It was kind of recommended when I got the body butter. It had like a, there was a section on the website that said, oh, things you might also enjoy. This is such a great um, bronzer. What I like about it is a little bit goes a long way and it actually smooths the skin while providing that little bit of extra color that you just need. Because I put on a really heavy SPF on my face because I'm real nervous about like wrinkles and freckles and skin cancer and all that fun stuff. So this helps me look like I laid out in the sun a little bit longer. What color is this? Sun Kissed Glow. I found it. I'm really good at finding makeup numbers and names. The eyebrow pencil that I always, always, always wear is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pencil in Soft Brown. Very interesting. Um, the eyeshadow, which is super used and old, is from Maybelline New York. It's like a chic naturals color. I just like it because it's simply two colors, dark for the outer eye and then lighter for the crease of the eyelid. I have finally found it. My search for the makeup sponge is done. You can clearly tell because even though I wash it, it is still completely stained with foundation. I found this at Target. I will definitely link this below because I can never find good sponges that don't just soap up all the makeup and not put any on your face. I just say soap. I meant to say like sop it all up, but I'm like lost for words because I cannot tell you how much I like this sponge. Uh, it wasn't recommended. I literally just saw it on the wall at Target in the makeup section and said, well, I may as well. I've tried 20 other sponges and none of them work. This is wonderful. It is, you can wet it if you want. You can have full coverage and put it on dry if you want. It is awesome. It completely covers your face. It gets you that even distribution of makeup all over. And if you want to, it's got little ridges on the side if you wanna like do your forehead or do a little bit of a spot coverage on the end. It is, I cannot recommend this enough. And again, I don't know the name, the style, the color, any of that, but I do, I, I liked it, liked it so much, I kept the packaging under my sink and I will make sure to link this down below if you are also in the search for a makeup sponge. Whew, I think we're almost done with makeup. That is a lot. And it's in the smallest part of this bag. Oh. If you want to know what blush I'm using, it is one is cheap from e.l.f. because duh, e.l.f. is nice. And the mascara I like is also a drugstore product, ironically. This works just as well as anything I've ever tried from Benefit. And if any company from like Sephora thinks that they can challenge this, I dare you to send me your product because nothing has been better than this. It is the L'Oreal Paris Double Extend Beauty Tube Mascara. What I like about it is it has a primer tube. You put that on and wait about 30 seconds and then you put on the black mascara. It just, it works well. I don't have to bring a curler. It gets the job done and that's all I need. How am I gonna fit all this in one bag? 
What I'm currently finishing right now are the Clean and Clear Essentials Foaming Facial Cleanser. I'm actually not going to repurchase this. I want to just go straight to CeraVe and just use CeraVe products. Um, hairbrush, self-explanatory. Toothpaste, toothbrush, uh, deodorant, contacts, glasses. Um, for some reason, the lipstick didn't make it in the cosmetics. It's in, like the toothpaste bag, uh, EOS egg, and then something I'm trying from Bare Minerals, it's called Skin Longevity. It was a gift last time I, last time, eh. it was a gift last time I went and bought makeup, just a tiny sample tube. I like it so far, I haven't decided if I'm gonna buy a full tube of it. I have to look up how much it costs, but it's been pretty good. It's just supposed to like moisturize your skin in the morning and at night. Put all that back. And in case I did finish the clean and clear stuff, I did buy something that was on sale. I'm gonna try the Garnier Active Skin Clearly Brighter Exfoliating Cleanser. This, since I said I'm gonna go to CeraVe after clean and clear, this might go in my gym bag. I have not tried it. I have no idea if it works. It was normally like $6 at Target and it was on sale for like $1.50. So, of course, I like Garnier, so I wanted to give it a try. I'll report back if that is worth it. All right, that is everything in this bag right here. What I'm taking in this purse is obviously things like wallet, keys, cell phone, laptop, because duh. Um, I like to take my to-do notebook so I know things I have to get done while traveling because I do try to stay off my computer if it's not for business. Uh, a little bit of lip gloss. I've got my headphones in here, random eyeliner pencil. God, I'm so weird. And then last in the purse is my 2017 planner. You have seen this all over my videos this year if you have been subscribed since the beginning of this year. Uh, the paper you see sticking out is some music for an audition. We will talk about that audition later. But anyway, that is everything I am packing on this little impromptu out of town trip. I will try and fit all of this in the bag and then update you on my travels in the very near future. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.